Hello everyone, each one here again. We're going to show you how to get Mass Effect Andromeda running in uh, Warpex Oculus Rift VR. First thing you'll want to do, open up your Mass Effect Andromeda. You want to go to settings, open your settings up, go to video output. You want to put it in display mode window. Uh, I use full screen display. Full screen window. Uh, I'm using max resolution uh, 1080p. Just make sure those three things are set. You can pretty much set your uh, all your graphics. I have mine, as you can see. I have them high or ultra. As high as they'll set uh, doesn't really make any difference. Depends on what your computer really runs. Once you have those, all those set out of the game, exit. Once it exits out, now you want the first thing you do is you want to start Oculus Rift. Uh, some people, if you're using Vive, it should work. There's no reason it won't. You'll just have to use Vive where it says where I say use Rift. Once it loads up, minimize it, get it out of your way. And you want to start start Vorpex. I run under admin just because I use it in programs that I have to. You do not have to run Vorpex under admin for this. Once you started it, you want to configure Vorpex. Once it comes up, as you can see, I have everything here checked. Uh, you'll, if you do not have a profile, you'll want to go to Cloud Profiles, Option Mass Effect, and Big V down here. Thank you very much for making this. Uh, use this profile, import it. I've already got one, so I don't have to do that. Once you import it, Hit apply. Go back here to your local profiles. Type in mass. It should come up. Click on it. Apply and close. Vorpex is ready to roll. Now you want to start Mass Effect again. I have my origin so it automatically loads up. Whether you'll go to the origin screen to log in if you don't have it. Mine's automatic. You'll see it coming up. You'll see Vorpex on the bottom. And it will load. <clears throat> I have mine set to start this way. But you'll, if you do too, you'll have to just enlarge it, bring it up to full screen. Once you do that, you're ready to go into your headset. Okay, we're on the resume screen. We want to open up Vorpex. Hit the delete key. Now I'm going to do something different here than I do when I play. I turn reconstruction off because I'm recording in shadow play. Sometimes when it's on, it's on. I'm going to switch to mirror mode. When you have 3D construction on, it will hang the program. Uh, make sure you have, if you want to record, make sure you have Shadow Play running. If you're running Shadow Play before, before you uh, turn mirror mode on so you can show what's on the screen. I am now going to turn it on. Direct mirror mode, I'm going to go to full, this is half size. I am going to go to full size. And I am now recording, showing what I'm showing on screen. We'll go back here, just start main setting. You want to center your head tracking. Do that by hitting Alt Space. Image settings, crystal image, I go normal. See all my settings there. I use one to one pixel. Some people say not to do that. I find it works very well. Display settings. Render and fluid sync on. GPU sync is safest. 
edge peak is on head tracking is on sensitivity I set it 70 everything else is off you can set up your touch settings if you want to if you have an Oculus touch I use a gamepad Xbox gamepad so I prefer it I have disabled mouse accel acceleration head tracking is gamepad off override X back gamepad you can put in commands I have it off because I'm not trying to override it I'm using the one that comes from uh, that Andromeda has built in you can set up hotkeys for VR you can change them and that's everything we got hit click OK and save and we'll finish loading in did you to check in and we're now in Andromeda 3d as you can see it runs very well shouldn't have any problems you have AVP outstanding Pathfinder and you're good to go and that's how you set this up for Vorpex and using your Oculus Rift